Hello, everybody. This is a new episode of the Silver Linings Librarian with your librarian, Miss Coviello. And we're going to have a special episode today because we're not going to be reading any stories. We're going to be finding out how can we read books. Maybe it's a book you saw on the Silver Linings Librarian YouTube channel, or maybe it's a book you know you wanted to read for a long time, or maybe you're looking for a new book that you've never heard of before. So I'm going to start with Jefferson Parish Public Library. That's our libraries in Jefferson Parish, but the uh, libraries all over the world, if there's some kids listening now who are not in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana, most libraries are doing very similar things and have very similar resources. So go ahead and follow through on this little tutorial and then check out what your library offers. So this is a special note um, explaining their new policy, which is that anyone in Jefferson Parish can get a Jefferson Parish temporary library card but a lot of the students where I'm a school librarian have a library card so if you have your library card handy you can skip this step but just really quick we'll click on that link and see that's where you would put in your information and register and if there's any problems with that the librarians will help you if you have fines or maybe you have an old card and you're not sure what the number is you can figure that out through that site but we're going to go right to the digital content the databases and the digital content are the two links. Databases is for research, finding out facts, nonfiction information for like, say you want to know about dolphins or the war of 1812. But for right now, we're gonna be focused on independent reading, reading stories. Of course, there's lots of good eBooks that are nonfiction as well, but let's focus more on story type books. We're gonna to go to their digital content page Again, and if you're in my library, you know that I use Hoopla a lot and I use Overdrive and Tumble Books too when I'm looking for a book I can't find. And it's so great when you find one online and you use your library card. What I'm gonna focus on today is Overdrive and Overdrive is basically a way to search your library with their electronic books, their eBooks. So we're gonna skip on out of this and go over to the app store and here's how we find Libby. Libby is the name of the app that goes with Over Overdrive and I'm assuming most kids are on their iPad or their phone so Libby is the best way to use Overdrive. It can, it's not a seamless process when you're just using Chrome but I think Libby's the way to go so we're gonna we're gonna download it. I've already had it in there, so let's see what happens when we take it out of the cloud. And it shouldn't take but a second to open it. And we're gonna open up Livy. And so yeah, I had deleted the app, so now it's walking me through the process again. So the first question it asks you is, do you have a library card? And I do, so I'm pressing yes. And I'm gonna search for my own library, which I know is Jefferson Public Library. No, we are not a county, we're a parish. Let's see if it finds it. Okay, sometimes you gotta poke around a little bit. Jefferson is a very popular name. So, let's see. Oh, I wrote public and I should have written parish. There we are, we found it. Jefferson Parish Library is the search term you want. Search terms are really important. So now I'm gonna enter my library card um, please don't use my number. That is not an ethical way to use library sources, but I am going to put it in here and you are going to be able to see it. But we're not going to use Ms. Coviello's number because that is wrong. Even though it's electronic sources, we're not going to do that. So I'm putting in my library number and I'm signing it. And if you put your library in it, number in it, it doesn't say it, enter it again. Okay, so it's telling me that I have a linked card. I have no loans out, no holds now. Now I'm gonna go start searching. So I wanna look for, look, I can browse, right? So all the Harry Potter books, showing how to use it with a Kindle e-reader. I have a Kindle e-reader, but I'm gonna, I wanna read on this app and see how I do with it. Oh, look at the Spanish titles. Oh my gosh, 150, and I love Dave Pilkey Dragon's books. They're some of my favorites for kids. I'm gonna go back up and then after browsing, I'm looking for a search term. So it says explore, so let's try that. And then I see my big magnifying glass, which is almost always a symbol for search box. And let's see, I wanna look for um, a really great book called, I've been reading it online, it's for more like fourth or fifth graders, Bridge to Terabithia. 
So if you've been hearing me read it aloud and maybe it's kind of slow or you'd rather read to yourself, you want to pick up Bridge to Terabithia, you got a little taste of it from the Silver Lining Librarian, you can read it yourself. And you see I already have it out. So I'm going to read it now. It's due in 21 days. And I just open my book and it's got some information here and a little summary of the book like you would see on the back of a book. And then we're gonna see, I'd see I looked at it for 1%, so we're gonna go back to the book. Come on, read with, we're gonna read with Libby because even though I have a Kindle device, I really like to see how Libby works. So we're gonna see how Libby works for reading. And you can see down here, it's telling me that it's um, how far I've gone, what page I'm on, and then it gives me the back button, which will bring me back to the home page of Libby and all the other books if I have a bunch of books checked out. But for right now, we're just gonna say we found the book we wanted and we're ready to read it. So we just do that. Here's your dedication page, table of contents. We always wanna review parts of a book. And there's a foreword in this one by the great Kate DiCamilla who wrote because of when Dixie, but I bet most kids would probably just skip right to the book. And there we are on chapter one. And then we just have to tap it to read it. And there you have it. You checked out your first electronic book, Bridge to Terabithia. You guys, I'm really proud of you for doing such a great job. And that's gonna be all for today. I'm gonna be doing more of these videos on how to use Hoopla and how to use Tumble Books. But for right now, wash your hands, don't touch your face, stay home.